is a good question there is a lot of learning value in it but keep one thing in mind these questions are speed breaker questions right these questions which ask you to find out how many of these terms should be true how many of these statements must be true they essentially kill speed so if you are in the tail end of the examination and running short of time and if this happens to be the 34th or the 33rd question and you have little time in this examination to go basically sacrifice one of these questions that you might get the other things right right they are not in examination mode right away so we'll look at this question so good question will teach us a lot i would put this in the 700 720 category question consider a set s 2468 xy with distinct elements make note of these important points if x and y are both prime numbers lying between 0 and 40 open interval which of the following must be true we'll come to these statements in a while let's quickly jot down all the points that are given to us the key data given is this set has got six elements all of these elements are distinct it says that x and y are prime because 2 is already a part of the set it is evident that x and y will have to be odd numbers because these are all distinct numbers and then we also have the fact that x and y lie in the open interval 0 to 40 let's start with statement 1 keeping all of these points in mind the maximum possible range of this entire set is greater than 33 what is range range of a set is equal to the highest number minus the smallest number the smallest number in this set is a 2 that's given to us because x and y are odd primes they're going to be prime numbers which are definitely at least 3 and above they cannot be a 2 if we can find a highest value the highest value in the set which is either x or y to take such a prime number which minus 2 if it is going to be greater than 33 then the statement is going to be true x and y are prime numbers how high can you find a prime number what is the largest prime number that's less than 40 it is a 37 so if one of these two numbers x or y is a 37 then the maximum possible range for the set of numbers is equal to 35 is the maximum range greater than 33 certainly yes so statement 1 is true quickly sum up statement 1 in the next slide in a printed form the keyword in the statement is maximum as i had mentioned we have to determine whether the maximum range possible is 33 x and y are prime numbers the largest prime number less than 40 is a 37 if x or y took the 37 we know the smallest number in the set is a 2 the range is going to be equal to 35 that's the largest possible range for the set of numbers is it greater than 33 certainly yes statement 1 is true let's move on to statement 2 the median can never be an even number this is a tricky statement we know that x and y are distinct and are prime numbers right i'll go about it iteratively exhaust all possibilities and then let's arrive at the answer but just to be absolutely sure about it right the least value that x and y can take are basically x is a 3 y is equal to 5 they have to be prime numbers distinct numbers 2 is already a part of the set so what is going to be the ascending order in this case the ascending order is 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 for six numbers the median is the arithmetic mean of the middle two numbers the arithmetic mean of the middle two numbers is 4 and 5 by 2 4 plus 5 by 2 which is 4.5 that is the median in this case is a median an even number it is not as that statement is stating so this is when x equals 3 y equals 5 these are the two smallest values possible for x and y let's exhaust all possibilities let's keep x to be a 3 what is the next higher value possible for y it has to be a prime number so it's a 7 so 2 3 4 6 7 8 and 8 will be our set of numbers x equals 3 y equals 7 what is the median the arithmetic mean of the middle two numbers 4 plus 6 by 2 which is 5 is it an even number no it is as the statement says now put any value for y keep x is equal to 3 y is 11 y is a 13 any of those things you will find the middle two numbers the third and fourth number in the ascending order will be 4 and 6 so the median for x and y 7 and above i'll make it as 7 and above for any of those values the median is going to be a 5 so we don't need to check for any more values with x being a 3 let's go to the next higher value let's push x also up x is equal to 5 the least possible value for y is a 7 so ascending order is going to be 2 4 x is a 5 6 7 8 in this instance the median is 5 plus 6 by 2 which is a 5.5 is it an even number no not it's not an even number exactly as the statement said let's move on to x equal to 5 take y to be a value greater than 7 even before i write it let's push y anything to the right the middle two numbers are going to be 5 and 6 
So x is equal to 5, y greater than or equal to 7, the median will be a 5.5. So we need not check for any other values of x being 5, any other values of y for x being 5. Let's move on to x equals 7. The least value possible for y, which is a prime number, is 11. So ascending order is going to be 2, 4, 6, 7, 8 and 11. The middle two numbers are 6 and 7. The median is 6.5, not an even integer as the statement said. Let's push y any further to the right. Is it going to save us? No. The middle two numbers will be 6 and 7. Median will be a 6.5. Let's push x to a value which is greater than 7. x equals 11. The least value possible for y is equal to 13. 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 13. The middle two numbers are 6 and 7. The median is equal to 7, which is not an even number as the statement said. Take any value for x and y, which is greater than 11 and 13. The third and fourth numbers are going to be 6 and 8. So the maximum possible median for this set of numbers is a 7. Let's use that inference also. It will be useful in the third statement, which is why I'm mentioning it right away. We've realized that whatever values x and y take, which are prime number values that are distinct, and less than 40, you'll realize that the median is never an even integer. So statement 2 is also true. Quickly sum it up in the next slide. Six numbers. The arithmetic mean of the third and the fourth number is going to be the median when they're written in ascending order. The elements are 2, 4, 6, 8, x, y. x and y are prime numbers. Here is a listing of all of those values. Medians ended up being 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5, 5 6.5, and 7. None of these numbers is an even number. Any other value that x or y takes, which is greater than 11, realize the median is going to be a 7. You noted that down. So statement 2 is also true. The median is either an odd integer or it is not even an integer. Lastly, statement 3. The average of the set will be greater than the median. Start with that. The numbers therefore will be 2, 4, 6, 8, x and 37. So some of these numbers is going to be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus x plus 37 divided by 6. This is equal to 2 plus 4 is a 6, 6 plus 6 12, 12 plus 8 20 plus 37, 57 plus x divided by 6. This is equal to 9.5 plus x by 6. x is definitely a positive integer that's known to us. So the average is going to be a value. Average is greater than 9.5. Recall what we did in the last statement. We realized the max median possible. The median is going to be a maximum of 7. It's either 7 or less than 7. The average is not going to be anything less than 9.5. It is greater than 9.5. If the maximum value that the median take, the, can take is a 7 and the average is going to be at least a 9.5, the average will certainly be greater than the median if y is equal to a 37. The average of the set will be greater than the median is what the statement says. So statement 3 is also true. Quickly see it in a printed form in the next slide. Right, This is what it is. We have that the average is 9.5 plus x by 6 because y is equal to a 37. We realize that the values of the median can take for whatever value you substitute for x is going to be a 5, 5.5, 6.5 and a 7. Medians are all 7 or lesser than that. The average will certainly be greater than 9.5. Don't even bother about plugging a value for x, which is a prime number greater than this, right? You'll find that the average is always going to be greater than 9.5. Median is less than or equal to 7. Average greater than 9.5. The average of the set is greater than the median. Statement 3 is also true. Choice E is the correct answer. By the time you finish all of this, you'll be exhausted, you're likely to make some mistakes, and this question will consume three to three and a half minutes. So if you're running out of time, unless you have adequate time on hand, skip a question of this kind, you'll be better off for it.